This is a video showing how to close and fix an ironing board that won't close. Here is the ironing board that's already in the closed position. However, this ironing board is actually broken. It will not close. First, let's talk about how the, board, the ironing board opens and closes. As you can see, the legs are attached to this um, rod over here. The rod is in turn controlled by a tab over here. When the, bo when the board is in the open position, the tab may or may not be visible. In this model, it is not visible. So the way it works is the tab, when the tab is pushed down, then this rod can move freely and this, the legs can scissor open and close. Now, if the tab is in the uh, locked position like it is now, then the rod can move freely to allow this, this, uh, the legs to open but not close. And that's what happens when it gets stuck. This is the board, iron board in the stuck position. So, it, it will not move. It will not close, and as you can see, there's a handle here. Now, the handle is supposed to allow you to, to uh, unlock the, the legs by pulling it and then folding it this way. But if it's broken, then even when it's in the open position, the iron, ironing board will not close. Now, here's how to close it. The first step is to put the ironing board on its side like this. The next step is to find a way to push the tab that's holding the rod in place. In this ironing board, it's not easy to see the tab, but it's right there behind this um, metal bar uh, that's uh, holding the rod. I'm using this Allen key to push the, the tab. There will be some resistance because the tab is being pushed by a spring. So I'm going to push it down. I'll try from this position. And while it's pushed down, I can close the legs. At some point, the Allen key might get stuck. So you'll have to release it and find another angle where you can push, continue to push it, like here. Now, See why the lever is no longer working. Even in the unlocked position, it's not not making contact with the uh, the tab, and it's not pushing it at all. So to fix this problem permanently, you have to find a way to move your lever or twist it or whatever, so that when it, when it, when the lever is in the unlocked position, that it will push against that tab. That's what it's supposed to look like when it's fixed. This is, as you can see, it's just a little part of this lever that moves and when you fold the lever flat, it will push against the tab and allow the rod to move freely back and forth. At the same time, there must be some way to prevent the lever from falling off. In this case, these tabs here, here in the middle, and then and here. Once you get that fixed and in that position, then the way to open it and close it properly, once the lever is fixed, here's how to open and close it properly. To open, you don't need to touch the lever. You just pull the legs open. And to close it, all you need to do is push the lever flat, which will 
I'll push the tab and you can then slide the legs down.